good. Thank BFB. you. <laughs> Thank you. I have tools in there, but they're, they were in there. Get in there. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're back out at the JP shop before we go to our crawling event tomorrow for autism. This is what they got going on, guys. Brand new Moab JL. 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles, already at the JP shop getting some upgrades. Got these Go Rhino Nerf bars or sliders. Nerf bars, sliders? Steps. Steps? steps. Slider steps? Sure. Okay, slider steps. And then this nice Aries Pro Series push bar and Aries light bar. And I think she's actually, the customer is actually looking to get a lift. Yeah, and tires. Possibly 35s. Possibly. There we go. Got a coworker's JK here. What do you see this thing? This thing is a beast. It's It's been featured, I think, in a video. Not really featured, but on a video. It might have been in the background. And right now, Tracy's putting a new passenger side mirror in, but he actually installed these new housings. They are? Oracles. Uh, yes, Oracle. JK light bar mirrors. They're very bright. Extremely bright. At first I didn't, I don't know how I felt about it, but after seeing it in person on the Jeep, I think they look really good. We're gonna show you in a second. Those suckers are bright. <laughs> I mean, this, this JK is ridiculous. It's got fat fours, fenders, bumpers, grill. Got a SMB cold air induction. Switch, I don't know the brand. It's got switches, it makes our life easy. And it looks good on the inside with the gauge in the center of it. So it's got three three switches on each side on each side and a gauge in the middle. It looks really good. And these are all relayed as you can see. Relayed and fused. Action by the key. So when you turn the key on it actually activates everything. So you can't accidentally leave it on. That's nice. Look, he's got the Alpine radio, which is like the best aftermarket systems for these Jeeps. Yeah, they they look the best, they operate the best, and it's it's kind of a costly upgrade, but it's so much better than the factory head unit that they have in there. Yeah, this Jeep's definitely, uh, I mean, well, <laughs> it's a mall crawler. My boy Billy, he's not taking this thing off-road. I'm going to try to get him out there, but I don't think he's going to take this off-road. One day though, maybe we'll get him out there because this thing's more than capable. Don't know about those steps that he's got on here. They're not the rock slide engineering. As you can see, these steps are down. because He's always having issues with them. Here's some more goodies that Billy's having installed. This actually goes inside the spare tire. Yeah, something that's really, really simple to install. You simply just take your wheel off and these are already pre-drilled to fit the lug pattern that's on the JKs already and they, they move a little bit so there could be some variances in, in there. And it comes with a plug to where if you wanted and you didn't have a third brake light back here, you could actually just use this as the third brake light alone and it will plug into the factory plug. But since he, he wants this plus this, I'm gonna do a little bit of wiring magic and we're gonna make it all work together. That's what we do here at the JP shop. We make it happen, just like we did with the power tank. We made it happen. <laughs> By Rugged Ridge. These are really bright. I've definitely blinded a few people in here with it before. I wasn't here for that. I wish I was though. That would be interesting to see. You always miss the fun. No, I miss the fun stuff. I'm leaving the JP shop. This came in. I'm gonna go over this. This would have came in handy when we were on Assateague Island and our battery died. So I just wanted to make sure I had a little bit of added protection for when you're going off road. And I also have a fire extinguisher, a bar tech, roll cage or roll bar holder for the fire extinguisher and some very, very light duty worn recovery gear. It's got like a snatch block, some tree savers, nothing crazy. Just some last minute things for the trail. So I'm back home. We're all packed up as you can see, packed very lightly. I'm very impressed by the missus. Got our vlogging gear, drone just in case. Got the fire extinguisher all mounted up with this bar tack mount, which is really nice. This is a 2.5 pound fire extinguisher. Nice small little guy. And here's this Tack Life jump starter that I got. It's got all kinds of cool little attachments. So you got your cigarette plug adapter so you can charge it while you're on the go. You got your jumper cables. So if you get a dead battery, like I was saying earlier, 
that actually happened to us on the beach on Assateague. We were running the radio all day long. I don't know if an interior light was on because we had to hatch it. I don't know. I don't know. But battery was dead when it was time to go. Thank God we were with someone because we we're in the middle of nowhere, no cellular service, and he had jumper cables. Well, we're gonna have something if that happens in the future with this tack life kit. Look at this, guys. Nicely packaged in this little container, and you can actually run other devices off this as well. And it tells you your battery strength, so we're at 100%. I made sure I got a full charge on it before we went on our trip. But yeah, you got your, your USB ports. This is where you charge it with the AC power or the DC power adapter. This is where you plug in your jumper cables. And then you got a light on this end, which has multiple different functions. Compact, small, you can throw it right in the back. You got a compass. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'll have the information for this in the video description. It's just nice to have that added protection in case you're out in the middle of nowhere and your battery dies. Because it does happen, guys. It happened to us. Brand new Jeep, but dead battery. As per the use, I'm being held up by the wife. She's gonna be. She's a video. She's gonna get angry. She's gonna get angry. We're gonna hit the road. Hopefully, sooner than later, I'll see you guys in the morning at the Cole Pit Crusade for Autism. So we made it out to the famous Redding Off-Road Park. This is our group. Right now it's nine, waiting on a 10. He's lost, Guy's cousin. If you remember Guy, Guy was in a video a very long time ago on Assateague Island. Guys, this is Vicky. This is George. He's hiding from the camera. They lead the Nomad Jeep group. There are our guides today. I'm trusting you guys. We're not going to get lost. Yeah, no, that's definitely going to happen. Absolutely. That's definitely, that's absolutely going to happen. All right, cool. You're people. You're kind of people. <laughs> yes, they are our people. <laughs> we uh, aired down to about 12 PSI on all four tires. Getting ready to hit the trail up there. Before we do that, we're going to engage in a 4x4 four four and unlock our sway bar, which is really cool with these Rubicons. Uh, Mm. Beautiful out here today. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. trails they're extremely easy so we're gonna switch things up a little bit and very boring the Ruby Beast projects doing very well for the the roads I would say it was off-road but it was a road for the most part uh, sort of yeah. more like gravel riding we got to get it dirty I got to hear the wife scream at the top of our lungs it's funny. <laughs> I thought I was getting wet I mean like muddy what do you look at guys I'm, uh, would you just look at it just look at it so how do you disconnect your uh... it's an electric sway bar you just hit a button and it disconnects. From where? There's a little motor. There's a little motor right behind the winch here, and it basically just lets the, the sway bar arms free. Really? Free, free play. That's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome as long as it doesn't fail by going through water or something. But so far, so good. So far, so good. So we just double checked our air pressure with our power tank air gauge, which is a clutch. Clutch! Yeah, it got, it got us right down to where we need to be. Vance Green, let's get her done. Get her done, got her did.
Oh my god. Oh my god. I think something's missing. <laughs> so, so apparently Guy lost his fender at some point, probably going through a mud puddle. We went through a mud puddle back there and the Jeep literally died. I'm running a coal air induction with no pre-filter. Probably not the smartest thing to do when you're rolling through this. I'm not taking Ruby Beast through that. Oh hmm. Time for a new fender. Go ahead. I guess you're not getting that back. Then. Go in. <laughs> no. George, can you go find my fender? Hey, can you find his fender? <laughs> the front one. The front driver. No. <laughs> I'm sure Joel has something playing around. I get you. We'll find somewhere. We'll find one. Somewhere. It's not an aftermarket one. Right. Exactly. I'm trying to get one from Joel for him. They went. They went through the puddle. Yeah. He must Jeep have got just water, died. And the water it just died on him. I'm running uh, cold air induction, and I wonder if it just Oh, went, you are? Yeah, I wonder if it just uh, shot right up in the... Look at it. Is it dead still? No. no. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, it's dry. It's dry in there. Huh? I mean, mud did get up underneath here, though. Look. <laughs> but it's dry. Is it dry? So wonder why it bogged. I don't know. Maybe. I... Oh, uh, you know what? Traction control. I didn't think I'd turn it off. Rookie. Uh, rookie. Rookie move. Because when we start it back up, uh, I yep. shut the engine off and I didn't right, put traction you never, control. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's what it was. So now we can go through mud. Let's do it, Hetty. Top down everything. All right. Yeah, just don't suck that mud up into your intake. Yeah, I got to get a pre-filter. Got a solution for that, though, guys. Filter wares make awesome pre-filters. We'll be installing one of those soon. We got the traction control off this time, guys. We got our sway bar disconnect, disconnected, and guys, muddy over there. Very, very muddy. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Your Jeep, I would. Does he have like wings on it? Nah. Oh, oh he's got. Uh, looks like he's wings. Help him back up more. Back up a little more. Oh hell. No. <laughs> oh no. Really? Is this real? Yeah, it's real. Just a little intermission, guys. We're uh, gonna watch a tug of war. It looks like here in a mud pit. Mud's gonna be flying here very shortly. The toe strap connected. Here we go. You going? Awesome, man. Thanks for watching. All right. Ready? Set? Go! As long as it's not you. This is cool.
Gigi. <laughs> Okay, so we um guys ah! guys leading now. He has no clue where he's going. We let Guy take charge, and uh, that might have not been the best idea. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we're we're definitely on a little bit more of an advanced trail, and it's definitely really tight. Oh, where the hell is he going? So you can you can actually catch my death. Hey, <laughs> switch it out. Why what you, happened? Why you switch it out? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's a little tight. Oh, shit. Oh! oh. oh. Holy shenanigans. Oh! It's a big drop. Oh, see. So keep your foot on the brake. No. Just let it slide down. Great. There's a there's a look. Just a little bit. Straight. Stop. On the brake. I'm on the brake. Now just come really slow. Straight knee. Straight knee. Turn forward. Forward! And turn the other way, not that way. Keep. I'm turning that way. You're turning it to the driver. Yes. You better keep turning. There you go. That way. Go slow. Slower than slow. Like, I mean, inchy. Oh. Fuck my <laughs> goddamn Jeep <laughs> up. Turn. You guys wanted to follow me, that's what happens. Back up now. You want to come and look at it first? I trust you. How am I on this side? You're fine. You're fine. You probably shouldn't trust me. Oh. It's a big drop. Yeah, okay, I got it. To go. So slow. It's not my fault. If you can turn to the driver. I know. Oh, that was close. Dude, watch you on the No, he has no clue. You, you got anyone got duct tape? <laughs> yeah, but I, that's just to get back. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I didn't know where I was going. Oh, nah, he wasn't going over. But I don't think I was going over. Nah, he didn't hit the tree though. Nah, he hit the rock. The back bumper hit hard. So did mine. Yeah, and it did it, it, it here. Oh, but hey, that's what it's there for, you know? Broke all the clips. Bumper got pushed right into the fender. 
That's normal though. That happens a lot on these JLs when you're taking them off road. Uh oh. Oh, oh my god! Uh, that could be a problem! Oh, the bumper's pushed yeah, up. Yeah. Jeep. Oh! Yeah! We're good. Fix everything with yep. it. Hell yeah! Thank you. Thank you. I have tools in there, but they're, they were in there. My spotter couldn't go down the hill. What do we got going on? I, I'd fall down that, that thing. I can't even see. Oh, I can't. All right, I'm looking out the side here. Mm. <laughs> oh. It's like a roller coaster. You think Kylie would still like doing this? I'd go like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we gotta get out. <laughs> How are we gonna get out? Up the hill. It. Yeah. Either up the hill or turn around and go up that one. Well, let's do that one. <laughs> Driver? Passenger. Hard driver. Hard driver. We're hard. There you go. Cool. Thank you. Woo! I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think now, Head? Do you still want to drive? Who knew driving a vehicle as a passenger would be so dirty? <laughs> no, I'm so glad I'm not driving now. Uh-uh. We done. No. Yeah, we definitely uh, we definitely bumped up to the more advanced trails right now. And uh, the Jeep paid for it. I got my adrenaline up a few times. I'm sure Hetty's adrenaline's up. Yeah. But now we got to go up that hill up there. And um, that's pretty damn steep, too. It doesn't... The camera, guys, the camera is not doing that hill any justice. Trust me, it's very steep. My wife took the initiative and she's going to air up with our power tank. See if she can get it in. It's usually not my job. Can we do it? Well, I don't. I push that. Pull that. Push that red thing up. Uh, right. Yep. And then, as you're pushing that up, let go of the red thing and push that. Charge our regulator. These things are awesome. Yeah. Because were they going to charge you two dollars to fill up? No. Nope. Because we're going to let guy use our <laughs> our power tank. They're awesome. Yep. Oh, you're good to go. What are we going to? 29. Let me see how fast this has got. I know. So this will be the fifth tire we've aired up. We're trying to see how, how much we can get out of this tank. Where do you fill it up, sweetie? Well, that's a good question, guy. I finally found one place. It's a beverage place in Morgan now that I gotta find another place that actually has a pump that will pump the CO2 into the tank. Because I only got a little over 10 pounds in this tank. But very cool. And that gauge is sweet, isn't it? <laughs> We're sharing our CO2 with Guy. Yeah, baby. Yep. You know how to work that thing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta push it in. It's so quick. Man. You're gonna get one of these now, I thought. Um, I would like to. Save your two dollars. I should charge him a dollar? Alright, yeah, give me a dollar. What? And he took us on that Man, jacked up right. trail. <laughs> well, we stopped at the local advanced auto parts store so we can be legal. Nothing a little gorilla tape won't fix. We're good to go. It's working. Hopefully it doesn't fly off on our way home on the, the highway, but <laughs> it, it's I think it's in there pretty good. I think it's in there pretty good. Could work out of you. Yeah. 
flaw, I almost think, from Jeep, man. This, this should not stick out that far, but I guess they have to with the cameras for the blind spot detection. But, yeah, I don't know. That bumper's definitely a flaw. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We sure enjoyed making it. Definitely. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're stopped by for the first time, make sure you smash tap to something to that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, ding, ding. 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 We love you guys. We will see you on the next upload. You watch, you watch.